Did you know that all mammals, including humans, are capable of lactation regardless of their gender? Yes, you heard it right. Even males can lactate under certain circumstances. Now that's a fun fact to start your day. It's like Mother Nature's little prank, don't you think? A bit of a shocker, I bet. But it's all part of the fascinating, sometimes surprising world of biology. So hold on to your hats, folks. Now that we've got your attention, let's dive into the fascinating world of lactation. Mother Nature is truly magical, isn't it? One of the best examples of this magic is how a woman's body produces milk to feed her offspring. So, let's roll up our sleeves and dive into this incredible process. First off, during pregnancy, a woman's body starts preparing for lactation. Think of it as getting ready for a grand opening of a milk factory. This preparation involves a lot of changes in the mammary glands, which are like the factory workers of this milk production line. Now let's talk about the big bosses, the hormones. You see, the body is like a well-oiled machine, and hormones are the control panel. During pregnancy, two hormones play a huge role, estrogen and progesterone. It's as if they are the project managers, ensuring everything is in place for the grand opening. Estrogen, the first boss, oversees the growth of the duct system in the breasts. It's like the architect, planning out the blueprints and ensuring the infrastructure is in place. Then there's progesterone. This bad boy is responsible for the growth and development of the alveoli, which are the milk-producing cells. Think of progesterone as the interior designer, making sure everything inside is ready and functional. But wait, there's more. These hormones don't just appear out of nowhere. They are produced in larger amounts during pregnancy, thanks to the placenta. It's like the magic wand creating these hormones in abundance to prepare the body for lactation. And let's not forget the hormone prolactin. This one kicks into high gear after the baby is born and is crucial for milk production. It's like the factory manager, ensuring the milk factory is running smoothly and efficiently. So, there you have it. That's the magic of Mother Nature, preparing a woman's body for lactation during pregnancy. It's a complex yet fascinating process that involves a lot of hard work and preparation. It's like setting up a business where the product is life's first nourishment for a newborn. So, next time you see a pregnant lady, remember, her body is working overtime, preparing for the milk factory to open. Now let's get to know the main players in this process, the hormones. They're the ones calling the shots here, literally. First up, we have prolactin, the key player in this hormonal dance. Think of prolactin as the conductor of an orchestra, when a baby suckles, it's like the start of a symphony, and prolactin gets the cue to start the music. It tells the alveoli in the breasts, hey, it's showtime, let's get the milk factory up and running. And like diligent workers, the alveoli respond by producing milk. But what's a maestro without his orchestra? That's where oxytocin comes in. Picture oxytocin as the string section of our orchestra. Once prolactin has set the rhythm, oxytocin takes the cue and plays its part. It causes the cells around the alveoli to contract, pushing the milk out into the ducts. It's like the grand finale of a fireworks display, ensuring the milk reaches its destination. But wait, there's more. These hormones are not just about business, they also add a touch of magic to the process. Prolactin, apart from being the taskmaster, also has a soft side. It promotes a feeling of relaxation and nurturing, helping the mother bond with her baby. Similarly, Oxytocin, while efficiently delivering the milk, also creates a sense of love and attachment. It's like they're not just conducting the orchestra, but also setting the mood for a beautiful mother-child duet. Then there's estrogen and progesterone, the supporting actors in this performance. During pregnancy, they prepare the breasts for lactation, kind of like stagehands setting the stage for the grand performance. However, once the baby is born and breastfeeding begins, their levels drop allowing prolactin and oxytocin to take the spotlight. So, these hormones are the real MVPs here, making sure the milk is ready and delivered on time. All right, now that we know who's in charge, let's see how they work together to produce the milk. So, imagine the lactating body as a bustling factory, its main products, life-sustaining milk, with our hormones acting as the diligent workers. Let's delve into the process. First up, our trusted worker, prolactin, clocks in. As soon as a baby starts suckling, a signal is sent to the brain. Hey, 
we need more milk here. And prolactin, being the responsible worker it is, gets straight to it. It stimulates the alveoli, tiny sacs in the breast, to start production. Picture these alveoli as little chefs, cooking up a storm, or in this case, whipping up milk. But what's a factory without a means of delivery, right? Enter oxytocin, the milk's personal courier. Oxytocin prompts the alveoli to contract, pushing the freshly made milk into the ducts. Kind of like a milk highway, if you will. These ducts then transport the milk to the nipple, ready to be served to its eagerly awaiting customer, the baby. Now here's the cool part. The more the baby drinks, the more milk the body makes. It's a perfect supply and demand system, with the baby as the boss calling the shots. The more the boss orders, the more prolactin and oxytocin get to work. It's a loop, an endless cycle of milk production and delivery, all orchestrated by our hormone duo. But what about the milk's quality, you ask? Well, the body's got that covered too. The milk changes over time to meet the baby's nutritional needs. It starts as colostrum, packed with proteins and antibodies, then transitions to mature milk, filled with all the nutrients a growing baby needs. It's as if the body has a secret recipe, constantly tweaking it to perfection. And there you have it. The body's bustling milk factory, running 24 7 producing the perfect blend of life-sustaining milk, all thanks to our diligent workers, prolactin and oxytocin, and of course, the boss baby's never-ending demand. And voila, that's how the amazing milk factory operates. So there you have it, folks. The marvel of lactation explained. We've certainly covered a lot of ground today. We started off with the astonishing fact that the human body, specifically women's, is capable of producing the perfect food for a newborn. This isn't a magic trick, it's just Mother Nature doing her thing. Then, we dove into the complex yet fascinating hormonal dance that takes place within the body. We discovered how hormones like prolactin and oxytocin play a pivotal role in the process of lactation. It's like a well-choreographed ballet, with each hormone knowing exactly when to step in and take the lead. After that, we took a closer look at the milk production process itself. We learned how the mammary glands work tirelessly to produce milk, ensuring that the baby gets all the nutrients it needs. It's a 24 7 factory that never goes on strike. And just when you thought we were done, we threw in a little humor. Remember the joke about the baby who asked for a latte instead of milk? Yeah, babies can't really do that. But hey, it's good to keep things light and entertaining, right? If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor and hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment and tell us what you learned today. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more fun and informative videos like this one. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.